studies now has COVID-19 clinical trials happening. And I know that everybody is going to want to get in on this and find out if anything is really going to be working to end the coronavirus. And joining us today from Syntex Studies to break everything down is Dr. Joe Pozar, who's been with the company a very long time. Thank you for joining us, doctor. Thank you for having me. And you began a family practice clinical career in 1990. You're a graduate from U of H, you spent some time in Waco, but then came back and opened your office in Clear Lake with your wife, Linda, who's also a doctor on your team. So between the two of you, you've seen a fair share of clinical trials. Well, first off, let's just tell everybody in Houston a little bit about Syntex Studies and what you guys do. Well, uh, we're a, a site management organization. We perform clinical trials on a variety of pharmaceutical agents primarily. Uh, and as it pertains to, to this particular discussion, we're looking at COVID-19, which is, of course, on everybody's mind these days. Right now, we have a couple of clinical trials that are aimed at uh, looking at ways we might prevent infections in certain high-risk uh, populations. Uh, we hope later on to be doing some vaccine trials and actually some other uh, trials on some medications, perhaps for treatment as well. And you guys are looking for quite a few amount of people to join this study. That's correct. Uh, in particular, uh, these particular uh, trials, uh, we have one uh, that is primarily aimed at healthcare workers. Uh, of course, as you can expect, those are some of the most at-risk uh, folks that we have for this virus. And so for that particular clinical trial, we're looking for folks that are perhaps working in an emergency room or a walk-in clinic, or uh, perhaps in a hospital unit where they're treating COVID patients. Um, but they have to be in a, in a setting where they're exposed on a uh, fairly regular basis uh, to COVID uh, uh, cases. And then uh, we're also looking for folks who are in long-term care facilities. Those uh, have to be over the age of 65. Um, again, another population that is at high risk for developing complications from this particular disease. And uh, so we're looking to uh, have uh, folks over the age of 65 who have had uh, COVID in their particular facility within the last seven to 10 days. Uh, and that, you know, that's what we're looking for there. Now, Doctor, can you tell us how people can get involved and get qualified for this study? Well, we need to be having them contact uh, directly to uh, Syntex Studies if they have any interest in participating in these trials or if they want to get their uh, name on a, a waiting list for maybe some of our vaccine trials that we may have coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about the vaccine trials and what all that entails? Well, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it at this point because the, the uh, final uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria has not been finalized by the FDA yet nor have we received absolute confirmation that we're gonna be doing the trial at this location. But we do expect to be hearing back from that uh, in the near future. I think it's fairly likely that we will be participating in some of those trials. And if we do, then uh, we will uh, you know, need to have some uh, folks ready who are uh, willing and interested to participate. So it's not just one COVID study, it's actually two studies with the clinical trials for Syntex uh, studies now happening. And will people be compensated for their time for this? Oh yes, uh, they, they are compensated well for their travel time and for their willingness to participate in the, uh, in the clinical trial. Uh, that's uh, pretty much the way it is in all of our clinical trials. It's a very exciting time because you could be on the verge of testing what could be a possible cure or a vaccine for the coronavirus. If you're interested and you'd like to give them a call today, their phone number is 281-918-0048. And their website is syntexstudies.com. The upcoming research studies are evaluating potential new options for treating and preventing COVID-19, which is very exciting news. And you're looking for some participants to take part in these clinical trials. Anything else you can tell us from behind the hospital lines uh, that we can look forward to for this? Well, um, you know, uh, we're, we're just kind of getting started with this uh, COVID clinical trials at this uh, point in time. So uh, we're uh, excited about uh, being able to contribute to our knowledge base and hopefully get to an answer, as you pointed out earlier, where we have maybe some effective treatments and some preventative measures. 
kind of exciting to be on the cutting edge of this thing. We appreciate you being on the front line and being an essential worker during this time. One last question, is there an age requirement to be a part of these studies? Well, the uh, one for healthcare workers, they have to be above the age of 18. Uh, there's no upper limit on that particular one. And for the uh, folks, for the uh, institutionalized uh, patients, they have to be over the age of 65. Healthcare worker trials, uh, we're looking for anybody who's been exposed to the COVID virus, any of those frontline workers, as you mentioned. 281-918-0048 is their phone number, or you can get a lot more information at syntexstudies.com. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.